Swedish air crash investigator Sven Hammerberg is entering a world of intrigue and deadly Cold War conspiracies. A special commission reporting to the UN needs him to determine whether a 1961 air disaster was an accident or an assassination. Well, the commission knew that I had some experience in that field of old aircraft accidents, so uh, they called me. In 2013, Sven Hammerberg joins a new search for the truth, gathering evidence to be presented to the United Nations. My task was to look into the details uh, and see if there were any new information available. And I was asked to evaluate the investigations that had been performed before. When I look into the basic facts around the crash, I look at the trees and the crash site and um, the statements over radio and so on. Okay, now let's see the elevations. He studies the terrain around Andola Airport. He notes the height of the hills. He compares what he finds to what's shown on the chart used by the UN pilots. And he makes a shocking discovery. There's a hill here, a hill here, a hill here, but there's nothing marked here. Here, where the crash site is. The Andola chart does not show any obstacle or higher ground. Uh, west of the field. The crew might have been unaware of the height west of the field since there were, were no signs of it on the chart. Hammerberg also discovers that members of the crew flying the Secretary General to high-level peace talks had been on duty for 17 of the past 24 hours. Fatigue is an important factor here. The flight had lasted for six and a half hours. And there are signs that some of the crew were uh, quite exhausted even before the flight. For Hammerberg, the clues are beginning to add up. He feels close to solving a 50-year-old aviation mystery that has generated heated controversy the world over. After carefully reviewing all the evidence surrounding the crash of the Albertina in 1961, Sven Hammerberg believes he now knows what went wrong in the final three minutes of flight. And it has nothing to do with murder. Reaching the airfield and see the lights when you have been flying for six and a half hours, I think it's very easy for a pilot to get thinking that, oh, we are here, we're just going to land. Passing the airport, the pilots descend below the minimum safe altitude of 5,000 feet. As they turn back towards the runway, they suddenly lose sight of the runway lights. You go into the dark, and then you completely uh, miss your references. The pilots don't realize that a hill is blocking their view because the hill isn't on their chart. Losing the visual sight of the airport would cause the pilots to look even further and lose more altitude. Before they even know they're in danger, it's too late. <laughs> 